Today we are here in Post Falls. I'm out here in front of Willamette Park. Uh, this park sits in the Montrose subdivision area. Today we are going to talk about the what I think are probably the three best neighborhoods in the Post Falls area. If I had a family and was moving to the Coeur d'Alene area, Post Falls area, these would be three of the neighborhoods I would be seeking out that are great for families, great to hold values, and you know have great resale opportunities there. And as you can see, you know they have family amenities like these parks, walking paths. I don't know if you can see over there behind me, across the street, and then, then of course down in along behind me here. These walking paths are everywhere. So we're going to talk about these three different communities. It's going to be Montrose, Tullamore, and then we're going to talk about the, the Riverside Harbor area, which I've kind of included Hunter's Glen and Ponderosa Park in there. So we'll take a look at these different neighborhoods, do some drive-throughs, kind of give you some different price points and give you an idea what those look like. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and subscribe below, tap the bell, so you can be notified every time we talk about any of these areas and properties, subdivisions up here in the North Idaho area. My name is Reed Wilson. I'm with Living North Idaho Life, and we are busy helping other people just like you find out what's going on here in the North Idaho area and see if it's a good fit for you. So if you're moving in the next two weeks or two years, give us a call, shoot us a text. We'll be happy to help make your move a smooth transition. Like I said, we are here in Post Falls at the Montrose subdivision. We're gonna talk about the three different subdivisions, Montrose, Tullamore, and then we're gonna go over that Riverside Harbor. Let's just talk real quick about where the subdivisions are. Spokane area over here. I-90 comes on across, Coeur d'Alene here, and then Post Falls right here. So we did mention we, we are in Post Falls today with these uh, subdivisions. And again, these are just my opinion. If, if I was, uh, uh, you know, looking for a place to live or going to be buying into something, with a family these are three of the best neighborhoods that i can think of right now there are some newer neighborhoods that are popping up that i think are going to be great neighborhoods but but these ones have been around for a while they you, you know they're they they hold their value well and uh, they've been popular with families you know like we saw they've got to the, the walking paths, they've got parks, they're close to amenities and, and, and a lot of those types of things. So the, the, the first one we looked at was right over here. This Montrose sits right along here. And so, you know, we, we met, uh, started right here at the Willamette Park. And whoops, didn't need to pop that up started here at the Willamette Park you know we did some drive-throughs you know we threw up some drone shots and whatnot so you can kind of get an idea of of what that looks like there uh, you, you know again one of the reasons it's been so popular it's just real easy access you know coming in and out of this to jump on the interstate here you can come down here jump on here you know if uh, depending on where if you're working in the Spokane and that's why a lot of people want to be there you know if they're commuting back this other way uh, you know, you also have access back here to 53 and come in through that back way which makes things very quick and easy to get in and out so just some ideas there on on that area there and it's just been a, a great area it's a beautiful area as you'll see from from the footage and we'll get you some a few different price points on that and and kind of do our little little drive through and our, our our second one that we're talking about you know we mentioned it sits right here right along highway 41 so 
So this area here, and as you can see over here, they've still got, they're gonna still continue to do some building. Uh, they're gonna still build out some of these areas. I think most of this right along here is gonna be, you, you know, probably commercial. I, I'm not quite sure what the, you know, commercial buildings, I'm not quite sure what they'll do there. Uh, but, you, you know, there's, suppose I hear rumors of shopping centers coming in out there, but, uh, you, you know, there again, this one here has just been really popular. You know, you got the newer homes. You've got, uh, you know, a lot of these churches. You got the schools, you know, the parks, um, and just easy access. You know, jump out here on 41. You've got your Walmart shopping. You do have some medical services in here along here. And then, like I said, you can jump on 41. Medical services very easily back towards the Spokane Valley area or into Kootenai, Kootenai Medical there, which just sits right here off of 95 in, in this area right here. And so a lot of easy access there. And then the, the third subdivision that uh, we, we talked about, you know, we started right here at Kiwanis Park and this Riverview Harbor area, you know, consists of these different few little subdivisions that we talked about. This little area here is just really, you know, as you'll see, it's beautiful. You know, the homes, a lot of them are on a little larger lot, but having access to this Kiwanis Park with all the, the amenities right there, that's just really, whether you live in that area or not, you, you need to go take advantage of the Kiwanis Park. But, you know, we did a little drive through even down around this you know these homes here sit on the, the you know on the river so they're going to be a little more expensive some of these homes back through here will will be probably a little bit older you, you know so you you do get kind of a a different group of, of properties and you know but as people keep you know updating these because it is such a nice area it's beautiful with all the trees and and again you got access you know to shopping you know the restaurants along here and and access onto i-90 either way got the walking paths through the different communities there access to and, and some of these homes in these little areas depending on where you're at does have waterfront access so anyway beautiful properties lots of nice little amenities there and um, i i hope the map helps just kind of give you an idea real quick where where they sit and in relationship to uh, you know some of these other amenities here in the post falls area so let us know if we can be some help or if there's some other subdivisions in this area that that you want to take a closer look at let me know i'm i'm happy to help you out with with getting the information you need and and we'll throw up some different price points in these different areas and uh, just see if there's anything out there that uh, interests you. This has just been a great little subdivision, this Montrose. It sits on the west side of Post Falls. So you're very close to the Washington border. So if you're working in Washington and live in Idaho, this is a great opportunity to be close to getting in and out for any type of commuting. So like I said, it's a beautiful little neighborhood. Price points in here tend to to re range around that mid to higher four hundred thousand, and then on up to about that seven hundred thousand range. Tulamore is very much about the same in those price ranges. You will see over in the Riverside Harbor area, depending on how close you are, get to the river. It starts in that maybe high. 400,000 and it can go all the way up over a million, you know, the closer you get to the river. So a little different homes in this area right here started in around the late nineties and, and it's gone all the way up until we're seeing homes as new as, you know, in the last few years. Tulamore, 2018, 2019 and newer, they're still building some stuff out over in that area. So you can still get into some brand new homes over by that area. And then, of course, the Riverside Harbor is all built out. Those are older homes. We're going to see late 90s to early 2000s over there. A lot of those properties have a little bigger 
acreage to them. I shouldn't say acreage, but uh, come with a little bigger lots and they're a little more overgrown. You got a lot of the pine trees and whatnot in that area over there. So just a beautiful, you know, kind of an older neighborhood. But if you like that North Idaho feel, that's certainly going to do it for you. So let's take a look. We're going to do some drive throughs in these neighborhoods. We're going to throw up some drone shots so you can kind of get an idea. And we'll throw up some different price points so you can kind of get a feel for what, what homes are selling for in here. And we'll just, we'll go from one neighborhood to the next and see what you think. So hopefully this will get you some good information. Tullamore Park and this is a great little subdivision sits right off of Highway 41 here in Post Falls. You are close to schools. You got Post Falls High School not very far away. They've got elementary schools, middle schools, churches. You can walk to about three different churches right here. So just a great family atmosphere. It's a fun park. Uh, it's a nice good sized park. It's got a lot of the the, the kids play play toys on it. It's got pickleball. It's got a gazebo over there you can rent out. But just just a great little neighborhood. Kind of do a little turn through here so we can kind of get an idea. Walking paths everywhere. You know, we threw up some drone shots there for you so we can kind of just get a feel for where it's at. But some of this, they're still building out. So there's some areas that are still going to continue to build out as we're going a little north. So we're gonna to continue to see some newer homes in this area. Like we said, a lot of the homes in this area start in around that 2018 air area, you know, and then like I said, we're still seeing new. A lot of three bed, two bath, four bed, three bath, that type of stuff. We're gonna see that mid to higher 400,000 range on up into close to that 700,000. That's kind of the, the medium price points through here. Values have held very well. You know, you got nice, easy access on and off Highway 41, easy access to I-90. There are hospitals right here in Post Falls. You also, you know, you're, you're 20 minutes away from Kootenai and then going the other way into Spokane Valley. You know, if you need some of that type of medical services, you're, you're 20, 30 minutes depending on traffic. So Walmart, quick, close driving you know we'll throw up the map and I'll give you an idea where where some of this stuff is but anyway we're we'll throw up a few price points do some drive through here and hopefully maybe you get some idea leave some comments on if this is helpful or not but if you have any questions reach out and then we'll head over to uh, the the next the next subdivision
Okay, we are still here in Post Falls. We are over here in the Riverside Harbor area. I've combined those subdivisions of the Riverside Harbor, Hunter's Glen, and the Ponderosa Park all together. I'm actually here at the Kiwanis Park. This is a spectacular park. So even if you don't live in the area, you got to come hang out at the park. It runs right up alongside the river. So you got uh, access if you want to just swim along in the river. There's little hiking paths everywhere. They've got uh, all kinds of activities that go on here throughout the summer, but it's just beautiful. You got little dirt trails, you got uh, uh, paved paths, picnic areas. I, I mean, it's just got a little bit of everything. So if you want to get out and you got your dog and want to take a walk, this is just a great, great place to do it. You can just see all these big pine trees here. Gives you that North Idaho feel. But uh, we're gonna be talking about subdivisions over here. Kind of give you a little drive through of what to expect in here. Again, the homes in these subdivisions over here, the ones that we're gonna talk about, you know, were built in the early 90s and to the early 2000 range. They're mostly three bed, two bath on up to, uh, uh, you, you can get into that uh, higher price range in the bigger homes. So when, I, when I'm talking about that, I mean, you know, your three bed, two baths can probably start somewhere in that high 400,000 range, depending on what you got here. Mid price point is probably closer to that 657. And then as you get closer to the river, cause you do have some homes that are secondary or riverfront, and those homes are gonna run up close to that million and over. So just kind of depends on what you want, but it's a beautiful neighborhood, well kept up. Let's take a look at this neighborhood. Let's get you some drive-through. We'll throw up some drone, and, and then we're gonna put up some price points so you kind of get an idea what the homes look like here and in those price points and see if there's something there that might interest you. <music> 